The Bahamas The Bahamas, an extensive group of islands and country on the northwestern edge of the West Indies. Previously a British province, the Bahamas turned into a free nation inside the Commonwealth in 1973. The name Bahamas is of Lucayan Taino derivation, however, some historians believe it is from the Spanish Bahamar, shallow water. The islands occupy a position controlling the gateway to the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and the entire Central American region. Their essential area has given the historical backdrop of the Bahamas an interesting and regularly striking character. It was here that Christopher Columbus made his unique landfall in the Americas. Land Lying to the north of Cuba and Hispaniola, the archipelago consists nearly 700 islands and cays, only about 30 of which are settled and more than 2,000 low, barren rock formations. It extends in excess of 500 miles, or 800 kilometers, southeast-northwest between Grand Bahama Island, which has a territory of 530 square miles, or 1,373 square kilometers, and lies around 60 miles or 100 kilometers off the southeastern shore of the United States Territory of Florida and Great Inagua Island, exactly 50 miles, 80 kilometers, from the eastern tip of Cuba. The islands, other than New Providence, are referred to all in all as the Out Family Islands. The Bahamian atmosphere, gentle consistently, is one of the incredible attractions of the territory. History on October 12, 1492, Christopher Columbus, on his first journey to the New World, made landfall someplace in the Bahama Islands. It is broadly held that he initially arrived on an island called by its local occupants, Guanahani, which Columbus renamed San Salvador. The genuine area is as yet in question. A few researchers trust it is the spot referred to the present time as San Salvador, now and again called Whiteling Island, while others guarantee that the site was Samana Cay or Cat Island. Whatever the case, Columbus investigated the island and others close by and afterward cruised to Cuba and Hispaniola. The locals of the Bahama Islands, Lucayan Tainos, who had settled the archipelago from Hispaniola by 800th Common Era, were a serene people who communicated in an Arawakan language. Here are some wonderful features of the beautiful Bahamas. Most of the population of the Bahamas is of African origin. There is a small but important minority of mixed European and African legacy and a similar number of families of English pioneer settlers and loyalist exiles from the American Revolution. Ample and beautiful forests of Caribbean pine are found on Grand Bahama, Abaco, Andros, and New Providence Islands. Hardwood forests also occur on some of the islands. Animal life is influenced by frogs, lizards, and snakes, all of them non-poisonous, and other species of bats are found in caves along the rockier coasts. Larger animals consist of the agouti, a rodent, the raccoon, the iguana, and the elegant flamingo, the national bird. Agriculture accounts for a very small portion of the GNP and employs a close proportion of the workforce. Only a microscopic fraction of the land is arable and soils are shallow. Nearly all of the country's foodstuffs are imported largely from the United States. However, the bright atmosphere favors the development of numerous organic products including tomato, pineapple, banana, mango, guava, sapodilla, the product of a tropical evergreen tree, soursop, grapefruit, and ocean grape. A few pigs, sheep, and steers are raised. The little fishing industry's catch is overwhelmed by sharp lobster, grouper, and conch. Tourism accounts for more than one-third of the GNP and employs about two-fifths of the workforce. It centers on New Providence and Grand Bahama Islands. Most tourists come from the United States. Junkanoo marches, or surge-outs, are held every year on Boxing Day and New Year's Day in Nassau and on a portion of the Out Islands. The arts, including painting, sculpture, and photography, as well as crafts, have blossomed in the Bahamas, and the country has many well-known institutions allocated to their cultivation. The Dundas Center for the Performing Arts in Nassau presents show musicals and dance exhibitions. Craftsmanship and specialties can be seen at an assortment of exhibitions, including the National Art Gallery, situated in a manor sitting above Nassau Harbor. Swimming, windsurfing, remote ocean fishing, and cruising are likewise famous water sports, and pretty much every occupied island has a cruising regatta or fishing competition every year.
Thank you.